So here's a quick little video on how to start and stop a thread. You may already know this when you're wrapping a row. So this is my first row. I'm wrapping it because I want it to pop the color in the center. I want it to be really bright. I've run out of thread here just before the end. So this is all I have left. You just continue wrapping until you want to stop. Then pierce the coil. Go right through the coil. Right in the middle of it. Pull it out the other side. So we're just going to keep on wrapping this spot here. Cut it off about half an inch. Take that little tail, stick it down in there. Hide it away. Get your new, thread your new needle or re-thread the same needle. Go in right where you came up. Go pretty close to that. Pierce the coil of pine needles. Come out right at the back because you want to try to continue to cover all the pine needles. Pull it through. Now, when you've got a new thread, you want to kind of go slow so that you don't tangle it all up. Pull it all the way till you got about a half inch. Take your needle, poke it down in. So now you've got two tail ends tucked in the coil of pine needles. which is the back, and that's the back, and that's the front. So then you're coming up on the other side with your needle. Just start wrapping right over. Cover up those tails. I like to squish it down so there's no pine needles showing through the thread. Keep wrapping. One more, down to my Okay, so you keep wrapping. You've covered the thread, the tail ends of the thread, they're down in there, so you can't even see them. Go on down through the next hole. If you can hang on to your needle. I did order some bigger needles, so hopefully it'll be easier to hang on to. Secure it down. I usually go through twice when I'm starting out. Sometimes three times if it's a heavier stone in the center or something. So I go down two times to secure it. There you go. See how that just totally covers up the new tail of the thread and the old tail of the thread. I'll continue on around.